gonna do, are you going to call this a vlog? I'm going to do the intro. It's are you going to call this a vlog? It's not a vlog either. I'm going to do the intro now. Can I do the intro now? <laughs> All right, here I go. It is your show. You can do whatever you want, Greg. <clears throat> okay, let's do the thing. No. We're going to no, do the thing. Well, okay. Here should, we go. I, should I hang back? Hang back for well, just a minute. And what's then we the can, signal you're going to give me when it's time to come in? When it's time to come in, I'll say, I don't know, rutabaga or something. Rutabaga? Okay? Yeah, rutabaga. Because that just flows in the context. Exactly. Of the, uh, it's perfect. All right. It's like should, a safe you word. Should, you should probably do the intro. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay. Hello, folks. Cranky old Cuber here. We've got uh, the inaugural episode of Two Old Cubers. Uh, I'm joined today by my friend Dave, who's over there. He's the one Hi. that's not me. And uh, we're just going to have kind of a freeform chat about a bunch of stuff on camera and see what happens. So uh, hopefully you'll enjoy this. And if you don't, I'm sure you'll let me know in the comments down below. So uh dave rutabaga rutabaga yeah that means you can talk now why the hell are you saying rutabaga i don't know because that's what i said i'd say earlier okay okay yeah, so rutabaga that's your, that's your thing hi i'm dave i'm greg's friend i'm kind of the reason that he's doing this in a way oh that's true yeah dave uh was dave provided my re-entry into cubing but yeah we can talk about that story later actually you should tell us how you got into cubing. How did I get and, into cubing? And why you're into cubing again. Well, I, I, I got into cubing the way pretty much the rest of the U.S. got into cubing because it, I got into cubing back in 1980 when it first came into the U.S. and dogs barked. The dogs are barking upstairs, but it's okay. We'll yeah. just keep going. Um, and I was, uh, well, 1980, I would be, I would be 15. And um, I remember reading a magazine because that's how you found out things back then. It wasn't like you got email or watched a YouTube video or anything. So I, I was, I was reading a magazine about how even adults are into this, this child's puzzle. And I'm like, Oh, that's cool. That's cool. And they start talking about it. And I, I grew up in a, uh, in a very small town of 1200 people uh, named Coopville. It's mm -hmm. on Whidbey Island up here in Washington state, Puget Sound, blah, blah, blah. And, uh, Point being, it's a very small town and n nothing comes there. So for anything interesting to show up, you have to go off of the island into the, the big city. In this, particular mm -hmm. in this particular case, the big city was Mount Vernon, which if you know anything around here, you should know really isn't a big city. Uh, at any rate, we went no. to, uh, we went to uh, uh, what would they call those back then? like uh, the Bon, we went to a, a big store, you know, it, what'd they call those? Oh, a big department store? Yeah, a department store. We went yeah. to a department store and there was a big, big pile of cubes. And I went, mom, 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 I want a cube. And so we got a cube. And uh, they also had this pile of books next to it of how to solve the cube. And it was this, it was a book I've never actually seen ever again. It was... I was going to ask you what the book was. And no, I don't remember it because it. It, was, it was bound like a calendar. <clears throat> so it was actually oblong and you read it this way and yeah. it was white Strange. and yeah it was i've never ever seen it again and had what was essentially the beginner's method huh. and um i remember i didn't really think about learning how to do it i just thought hey here i can solve the cube and eventually i just realized i didn't need the book anymore oh um but that actually led to a kind of a funny story because i just got in the cube and i brought it to school and um, I also had the book with me because, well, that's what you, you solve the cube. And I was sitting in class, had the cube, and one of the, you know how every class has got the. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to bleep that out, aren't you? We'll bleep it. Okay. It'll be okay. Yeah. The jerk. We have the, the every, every class has got one or two jerks. This particular case was one of the Dunn brothers. I forget which mm -hmm. one it was. But he, he looks and sees Wait, the cube. Is he going to see this? Um, If so. Ha! But you know, okay. otherwise, <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, I I'm probably wrong about the name. It's one of the Dunn brothers. I don't know if it's Ronnie or the other one, and I forget oh, okay. what the other one was. It was probably the other one, so it's kind of good. I don't know the name anyway. So he looks across the class. He sees the cube on there, and he's like, "Bet you, doll, you can't solve that by the end of the class." Ha ha ha! You know the classic sort of humiliate the guy. Uh huh. Because I was <laughs> been there. Done yeah, that. I'm on the A head, and so yep. whatever. You know, and he didn't know I had the book. And it was like, there were no requirements on this, <laughs> right? And and I just remember I got to the end of the day. It was like three quarters of the way through the class. And I remember making that last turn 
and some other person in the class going, I didn't know you could solve those things. Anyway, you know, <laughs> and, and the guy over here who has, who was trying to humiliate me with the bet started to complain. Like, I didn't know you had the book. I'm like, you didn't say I needed that. Uh -huh. Didn't have to have the book. And he just kept complaining, but evidently his friends had told him that, you know, you're, you made this claim in front of the entire class. And if you don't pay off, you were going to lose face. And uh, so he yep. ended up wadding up a dollar bill and throwing it across and bouncing it off my head. Huh. So you got a dollar. I got the dollar out of it. It's a dollar. And I, you know, I kind of won that. I won that one. That's, uh, that's pretty funny. I remember um, I was, okay. It wasn't 1980 because you're a little bit older than me. Not much, but a little bit. Centuries. Not centuries. Decades, perhaps. A decade. Yeah. So let's At say, best. I don't think so. I don't think it's a decade. I'm 52. Yeah, okay, five years. Okay. Ish. 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 All right. Yeah, when's your birthday? Uh, February 8th. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so four and a half years. Yeah, don't Roughly. steal my identity, okay? Don't. He doesn't have an identity, so don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> so check it. It's like 1982. I think it's 1982. I think I was in seventh grade. Uh, my buddy Jeff and I, for whatever reason always went to the basketball games and the was it because you liked basketball not really okay like i it was you mean the high school basketball games no the junior high basketball oh, games well still school but we yeah school yeah. and we would go to the basketball games and it was always boring and i don't even remember why like no idea why we'd go but we would always go and it was our i guess it was a time we could get together and get our we could get our folks to take us to the game so then we could hang out right and so we're at the game and he pulls out this cube and it's, you know, basically like that. It's pretty much, I'm going to move your cube. Pretty much looked exactly like You're giving like away this? the whole surprise there. Oh, fine. All right. You here, didn't here, that. here. Look, white, blue, white, blue. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, the two of us, he pulls out this cube and he's like, have you seen one of these? I'm like, yeah, I saw one of those at the bookstore. And, uh, you know, of course it costs money, so I'm not going to get it because we didn't have any money. Right. And so he's like. Think we could figure out how to solve this? I don't know. So we started working on it. And through the whole season of seventh grade, the two of us passed this cube back and forth. And it was really cool because he would do a move and go, okay, that moved that there, but then that moved this. And so he'd go, can you figure out a way to do that without doing that? So did you figure it out? We figured it out. Repeatedly? We came, yes. We came up with a way to solve the you, cube. You were much better than I. Well, but it was the two of us working on it together. Oh, okay. So you suck. and it was fine. Yeah, we suck. Right. It wasn't anything special. No, but, no. Most people look it up. Most people have to be taught how to do this. I had to read the book. Uh, it's fine. Um, but you figured it out. Yeah, the two of us at the at the basketball. That's games. pretty cool. Yeah, every week don't we don't undersell go and do that. Stuff. That was pretty cool. No, it was pretty cool. The the best part of it is though is to this day I can't remember the whole method. Well, it doesn't really matter though, does I it? I can only remember part of it, and so I can I can't guarantee solve it that way you anymore. probably know how to do it more efficiently now than you did. Oh, that's certainly true. Yeah. That is certainly true. But yeah, that was uh, when I got, I got into cubing back then. And um, I had a cube. I find, I got a cube for Christmas. My folks got me a Rubik's Cube. Looked pretty much like that, except without the dog chewing. Yeah, without the... <laughs> and, there you go. Yeah, that, that was um, that was done by, uh, I believe it was a Great Dane. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Great Dane can do, it, do some work on that. Love that dog. So yeah, I had a cube with me until college, probably. Although I don't... In high school, I mean, it wasn't a thing, so we didn't carry cubes around high school like they do these days. But um, you're telling I, me into the. I had one. I I kept up on how to solve it, and uh, you know, was able to do that up through college. And then when we moved from college to Dallas, I went to college in southern Southern Missouri. We moved to Dallas, and in that move, I think the cube just didn't make it. Mm. I don't know where it is, but so I don't have that cube anymore. And then I stopped solving Rubik's cubes. Until where, where'd you go to high school? Uh, I went to high school in Northwest Missouri. Okay. In a place called uh, Hamilton. <laughs> I actually went to JC Penny high school. Yes. That JC Penny. Well, you know, if he's got the money, uh, the dude, the dude, uh, endowed a bunch of stuff in the town. He well, grew that's, up. That's what you do. Yeah, he grew up near there and, yeah. and everything. So, yeah. So, uh, how long did you cube for before you took a hiatus? You know, I don't know if I, pointedly took a hiatus it's just other hiatus has just happened yeah I, it's, other stuff just got in the way i never really stopped 
it's not like I threw away my cubes. I still had them. Yeah. Um, in fact, uh, they were the thing then, and people were doing things like uh, companies would customize cubes with their logo and stuff. Mm. And so I've got in a storage unit somewhere, I've probably got a bunch of really, really crummy cubes with, with company logos on oh, them. Oh, nice. Um, Are you going to get picture cubes? Uh, no, well, I, I, I've got things that count as super cubes, oh, okay. but nothing that was a picture cube. Hmm. So, um, yeah, this is, then this obviously is the remnant with the blue on the bottom. It was, you know, all you new guys with the yellow on the bottom, you're the strange ones. Yeah. Yep. That is exactly, I remember, I remember blue opposite white and I remember green opposite yellow. And I remember the first time I picked up a cube from now looking at that and going, this doesn't seem right. I'm not sure I could tell you why, but it doesn't seem right. Yeah, but now it seems right. Now, now, yeah, no, now it's yellow it's opposite white just seems to be normal. the right way, the right way to do perfectly things. Perfectly normal. Well, so what got you back into it? Well, uh, well, I never, okay. It, funny, I mean, know, we know what got me back into yeah, it, which yeah, you're going to dovetail into soon. Yeah, exactly, but. exactly. But, but before, before I get it into the event that got me back and got me into the speed cubing and obtaining all of these other cubes, uh, you got to understand that my wife and I had a had a thing where I always had a cube on a stand, mm. and she would just mess it up, and then I would fix it and put it back on the stand, and then yeah. eventually, a couple days later, it'd be messed up again. And I, you solve a cube, you understand, you cannot leave an unsolved cube in its state unless you don't know quite how to solve it yet. <laughs> right. So we'll put this over here so that you don't see that right now. Um, and I also had a Rubik's Revenge. Real nice. old school, you know, ball center Rubik's Revenge mm -hmm. that turned like crap. Turns like yeah, crap. Yeah, those things are terrible. <laughs> I, I, I've lubed it with modern stuff. It still turns like crap. But yeah. the thing is, I never really learned how to, how to solve it. And it felt like this... You know, until you learn to solve a four by four, well, until you learn to solve a cube, it seems impossible. Mm -hmm. And I remember I, I could kind of intuitively get the centers, but the Rubik's Revenge doesn't really make you want to solve a four by four. Just let me put it that way. <laughs> it makes you want to put it down and go do something else. Yeah. Um, so we had that. She messed up the Rubik's Revenge and I remember looking at her and saying, um, I don't know how to solve that one. And she oh, felt no. really bad. And I popped it apart and put it all back together. So, because even though I couldn't solve that one, I did not want to leave it in an unsolved state because mm -hmm. it's, hey, at least it's a thing. At least you didn't peel the stickers off. Yeah. Yeah. As a side note, I tell people, I, I can tell when somebody knows how to solve a cube because their cube is solved. Right. Because pretty much the only time you see an unsolved cube hanging around is because they don't know how to solve it. There's a guy at work. Every morning I come into work, I look over, the cube is sitting there in this unsolved state, same state. I can't bring myself it's, to go invade. It's really hard to walk by those. I cannot bring myself to go invade his yeah. space and solve it for him, but I really want to. Every morning, yeah. it's this calculus I do in my head going, will he know it's me? And since I sit at my desk doing this. And just randomly solve them. Yeah. All the time. Yeah. I just, uh, I'm pretty he's sure doing he's doing a know. T-perm. I'm pretty sure. No, that's the only one I know. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's gonna know it's me, because I sit over there and clack when I'm thinking. So. And he's a he's a bad guy. He'll he'll mess you up. I don't know who I don't know him. He's just a dude. So so you could get away with it. I could get away with it. He could come over and kill me. I don't know. And probably he'd probably come over in the middle of you doing it. I have no information. But that's beside the point. Yeah. Anyway, back to your story. Yeah. About yeah. The four yeah. By four. Um, so Rubik's revenge. Right. Right. Well, <clears throat> that was just you know the interim. That was the that was the middle part of it. And um, the, we have the, this. The dogs are barking again. Sorry about that. Nothing we can do about it. So we're just going to keep going. Yeah. This studio really sucks. It's a terrible studio. Yeah. Yeah. I don't even know why I put up with this stuff. <laughs> it's my basement. All right. Our engineer is now annoyed at us. <laughs> engineer hates okay. us right now. Okay. Luckily, she's off camera, so you don't have to blur any of that out. Great, great. Yeah. yeah. Um, but so there's this museum here in the Seattle area called the Museum of History and Industry. And they were... Also this, known as Mohai. Is this all like drowning us out? So none of this is going to be usable. Okay. It's okay. Fine. It's fine. I'm just complaining to the engineer. Yeah, yeah. We All might right. cut that, but probably not. No, because we're we'll lazy. <laughs> yeah. Well, and and there'd be nothing else of value. I'll tell you what. I just did 
a giant bunch of cutting and editing and everything on the uh, that Cuboid tutorial. And, and threw it all away. So, yeah. And I'm like, yeah, probably not doing that. It's anymore. all going up straight. This yeah, time. it's all all going up. All right, so. all right. So, Museum of History and Industry. They're Mohai. having this. They're having this. Yeah, Mohai. That's Mohai. what we all call it. Mohai. Yeah. Um, it's because it's spelled M O H A I. Mohai. Mohai. That's a lot like Ohai. Mohai. 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 Okay, you go. <laughs> you you win. You had the best Mohai. All right, so go ahead. all right, all right. So it's they had this... the last Mohai. So. <laughs> Are we done? We're done. All right. All right. Well, <laughs> they had a toy exhibit, and it was it was actually kind of cool because you go back and you see, well, let me just pause and say, eventually all of those things that you're playing with right now are going to be worth a lot more money than they are right now, and you're going to really regret the fact that you messed them up. Uh, because True some of them story. end up in a museum. And then you go and you see them in all the commercials or ads that you saw, you know, sort of flashback, and it's like, oh, I remember having anyway so it was a it was it was a whole exhibit about that and then we were walking through the gift shop as you do and you have was, to to exit well exactly exit through the gift I mean, shop that's not that's what banksy accident. told us <laughs> <laughs> so and they had the new they had the new rubik's cube there the one that was uh done with the plastic tiles instead of the stickers oh, right yeah right and and at the time i didn't really know about speed cubing i didn't really know that you i thought you just made a rubik's cube modif you modified it and made it faster i didn't realize that there was this whole thing all of this um and so i bought one and i started playing with it again and i realized that i had forgotten probably about a third of the last layer that there were some times <laughs> where where i could solve it the whole way and then there were other times when i would just bounce back and forth in situations and not really get there and be really frustrated that that well, it's kind of like solving a master morphics now for me, which is you just kind of do stuff and then eventually maybe it solves. Right. Right. And and that frustrated me. And so what do you do? You go out on the Internet and you discover what you can. And um, I'm a little obsessive like that. And when I discovered that this world existed, I sort of I sort of kind of dove into it and. Of course, once I got the three by three done, I had to fill that gap of the four by four because because of well, that that, that sad re there. sad memory of of yeah. watching my wife feel bad because she messed up my Rubik's revenge and I couldn't do a damn thing about it. So I learned how to solve a four by four. I think I bought a um, I bought a waysu, and huh. um, I remember after I popped it a bunch of times, I went and read a review on the internet and it said, oh yeah, the thing pops a lot. <laughs> Don't buy this one. Yeah, and, and I was like, oh, that's why it was cheap. And I bought an Aosu and everything was happy. Um, so I started getting bigger and bigger cubes, uh, four by four, five by five. I kind of did them in order. And mm -hmm. you know, once I got so I could kind of feel comfortable doing a five by five, I scrambled up the six by six. Once I solved the six by six, did the seven by seven. And then I think at that, I don't know if I had, if I started infecting you at that point, but I think I'd already figured out the big cubes because I remember I, you and I talked a lot about big cube solving. Yeah. You were already solving big cubes. I think by the time I started picking up the, yeah, the four by, I think you knew how to solve the four by four before I did. Yeah. And you bought this set of. Sheng Shao cubes that yeah. really kind of sucked. Yeah. And you didn't know they yeah. sucked. No, I had no idea. Yeah. How did you find out that they sucked? What did I have to do to to oh, well, get you, you to realize that it sucked? <laughs> you uh, sent me a uh, Mo Long or <laughs> Mo Yu Wei Long GTS. I bought him a GTS. I yeah. bought him a GTS and sent it to him. I've got it. It's sitting over there on the shelf. I'm pointing at the shelf that you can't see, but it's over there. It's I over there. I can I can I can witness it right now. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and I remember you were like. I don't know if I can handle this amazing cube. I didn't. And then you could. It was super fast. Well, it, it, it was super fast. It still is kind of super fast. It's pretty super fast, although the new one that I have is super faster. Well, I think I think now we're segueing to your also, story. Also, I'm a little faster than I was then, too. So that's kind of cool. Yeah, so uh, it was about... I don't know. It was, Greg is fast. I think it was like September, October time frame or something like that. I don't know. I mean, um, uh, yeah, it was, I think it was yeah closer to October than September because yeah. I think I had gotten I had gotten the big cube bug around. You should pick end of that August. Cube up. Oh, 
Is this is this the one I bought you? Yeah, this is the one you bought. This the one actual right here. one. That's the actual one. I've it doesn't look like it. you've used it at all. No, I restickered it. Okay. And uh, I actually restickered it, and I bought a logo. I mean, mine is like... <laughs> I bought a logo sticker from the cubicle so that I could put the Moyu logo back on it. Right, cause right. Because this I is what it looks it like there. when you use a cube. Like, Well, now, okay. Things get chewed up. I use I use the living daylights out of this cube, and it's not chewed up. That's because so you're really not very good at it. It's not. I mean, it's just not. I mean, I'm not very good, but that's not why. It's because... I'm careful with my stuff, Dave. <laughs> I just am. And, you know, that's the that's my thing. It's what I do. Is that your thing? It's what I do. You're comfortable with your stuff. I am careful with my stuff. Careful with your stuff. Most stuff. Most stuff. Yeah. I'm not. Anyway, we're back to the story. So, uh, we're probably talking early October. Because it had to have been... No, it had to have been September. And the reason it had to have been September was because uh, I took my cubes back to Missouri. Oh, when yeah. I went, when oh, I went to yeah. visit, yeah, and yeah, I had yeah. them with me. I remember that. So, yeah. Um, but anyway, at <clears throat> around that I, time frame. Just as a pause, you and I both like had cubing breakthroughs on airplanes. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I, I remember solving my 5x5 five five and, uh, and uh, uh, a flight attendant going by and going... Cool, cool. Oh, that was office. Yeah, and then, I, and then they they came by again, and I scrambled it up. And she's like, "But you just, you just yeah. solved it. Why are you messing it up again?" I like, had that's uh, the point. You solve cubes. The last time I was on a plane, uh, yeah, I think it was the last time I was on a plane. I had the Gigaminx with me, and I'd solve it, and then she'd come by, and I'd scramble it, and she'd be, "What are you doing, man?" I'm like, "I want to do. It. I'm going again. <laughs> yes, yeah. it's fun because this is and cheaper than buying drinks." It is cheaper than buying drinks. Yeah. And also, it gets you to stop by occasionally and check on me. So, yeah. there we go. There's, because, what yeah, more you, did you, want? you think I'm going a little bit crazy. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, I don't know. I I got the I got that Shing Shao 2x2 two, two two to 5x5 five five set and uh, learned how to relearn how to solve 3x3. Three three. And the, I you know, I had this weird beginner method where you do it with white on top. And build it down. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I had to unlearn all of that and learn the new beginner's method because I forgot how to do the last layer completely and I couldn't find anything uh, about my method. Right. Like, I know it's in there. And I know there is one algorithm right. that I need to finish that off and I cannot remember what it was or how to do it. Yeah. So I kind of just, I kind of gave up on it and uh, looked up the new beginner method that everybody uses these days online. Right. And so that's where you flip it over. Right. right. We flip it over. Mm -hmm. And then there, during the last layer, there's the corner spinning stage. Yep, you do the, and, and that really sucks on big cubes. So, uh, whoop, whoop. Anyway, let, you know, let me tell you when you're, when you're trying to spin a corner on a five by five, I messed everything up. Didn't I? Everything is, have we just ruined the anymore? entire recording? Is that what's happened? So we should just quit. She's giving us thumbs We've got down. a very, very abusive engineer. I think we better just keep going, though. Okay. All right. Anyway, uh, so we wanted to learn a better way. Yeah. But, well, I wanted to learn a way, right? Yeah. Well, that's true. <laughs> I guess I'm trying to I'm trying to segue to our... our well, eventually, we kind of started going... At, we started learning the same things at the same time. We did. Uh, mostly, we started in on F2L was the first thing, right? Was it F2L or was it for look last layer? No, it was F2L. F2L. I learned oh, F2L yeah. and still and was still doing beginners on the last layer because yeah. F2L was cool. Yeah. And I mean, we read about CFOP. Well, and, you were all, dude, you won't be cool if you don't do F2L. And I was like, yeah, you're right. I won't. So, and, and you know, the funny thing is, is you're still not cool. I know. It didn't work. Yeah. Well. <laughs> but uh, yeah, because I was, well, yeah, we, have you ever tried to approach F2L from the very beginning, and you you pick up that thing. How many algorithms are there for F two L? Like forty two or something. F two L or yeah. like actual algorithms. Actual for actual algorithms for F two L. It's like you know you get that GAN sheet. Oh and, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah yeah, and, and I've got and, like um, eleven billion of those. <laughs> yeah, and if you're thinking about oh I should learn CFOP, and then you and then you see that list of algorithms, how can like, you not run screaming? I mean, yeah, no, I guess I'm not a learning day that. job. <laughs> you know, I, there are things I have to do to pay my mortgage. It's not like i am got a study hall to go and drill right. algorithms. So, And my boss looks at me funny when he comes by my desk, and every time he comes by, I'm fiddling with Yeah, they kind of like so, it when, you're, when yeah. you're doing something that they actually pay you to do. Right. Yeah. I totally just, like, hijacked your story, didn't I? 
I don't, it, you know, it doesn't really matter because I don't think it was, I think we got to the good parts of the story and I think, uh, okay. okay. I mean, it, it, it's the same story. Like once you get to, oh, I'm doing FTL, well, now I got to learn you slow four way down. Layer. Yeah, 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 you slow down and then you speed back up. And then you get back, back to speed and, and you don't know, I, I don't know how, well, the I mean, big I, cue was we, we, we learned intuitive F2L. I think we both discovered some YouTube videos and we both right. watched it and went, oh, I don't have to learn 42 algorithms. I can learn F2L in a matter that is not optimal. I mean, I, I don't want you to watch me solve because you'll look at the way I'm solving it and go, he really sucks at this. But the thing is, is I'm still doing F2L. He does. And... I suck more, but yeah, it's fine. He's saying that not His me. PB is ten, not ten seconds faster than mine. So yeah, but the fact that we've got like a ten second gap and feel like we're still actually kind of close tells you that we both really kind of suck. <laughs> yeah. Um, but so we discovered it. We discovered intuitive F two L. We learned it. We got slower. We got faster. And then I just I really hated that last layer stuff with the beginner method, yep. and and we both just kind of committed to learning for look. And the best part of it is, is now I can't remember how to do beginner's yeah, method. Yeah, yeah, it's layer. like, I, I, have to, I have to think about it, and uh, you really need that for the master of morphing. Yeah, you could, yeah, for the for the really weird shape mods, you you really end up just throwing up your hands and going right back to beginner method. That brings up a question. Okay, what's your favorite shape mod so far? Uh, well, you know, it depends on defining sh favorite. Um, okay, because is assume it, it's okay to have a favorite child. That's not really what I'm talking about. I'm okay. talking about the fact that shape mods make my brain hurt. Oh, okay. Right? It's not always a pleasant experience to go through and stare at how different things are in a shape mod and try to figure out how to map it to what you already know. Well, but that's actually also what's cool about it. Let me rephrase the question. What's the one that you are currently obsessed with right now? Uh, I'm going to guess, but I think, yeah. That would be the the, the megamorphics here. Uh uh, Greg was the first one to get a master morphix. Uh -huh. And I watched him struggling with that for a while. Thanks. And I am a fundamentally broken person. And the reason I know I'm a fundamentally broken person is because when I'm watching like an unboxing or tutorial and when it, when they scramble up the cube, it ends up looking like not at all what it started with. When it starts looking like a mess, when, well, that was what got me into the bagua. Right. Oh, yes. Right. You want you, you look at the twisty puzzling thing on it, and when he's got it fully scrambled, it that looks terrifying. It, it looks like a pile of it, it looks, looks like a wadded up foil, right? Yeah. And I just it fascinates me to be able to get that back into the into into the amazing shape. The you know the shortcoming of the bagua is it likes to fall apart, even when you try to not make it fall apart, it will just dissolve. But in the meantime, um, he got the master morphix, then I got the master morphix. And then I got the Megamorphix, which is essentially just a Master Morphix made out of a 4x4. Nice. So, uh, we're, we're back. There was probably a hard Hi. cut there. I have no idea what it's going to end up looking like, but it doesn't matter. Uh, it turns out the Canon DSLRs, uh, when they are recording video, have a hard 30-minute limit. And we reached that limit. Well, we almost reached that limit. I decided to maybe say we should go check it, and we did. So we're back. And then it turns out that our little recording thingy also takes a bunch of time to write files. So we are back, and we'll probably cut all of the things I just said. We're cutting okay. none of this out. Yeah. So uh, Dave was talking about the uh, megamorphics, and so uh, I probably tell was. Us more about the We're probably going to end up repeating ourselves here, but it's, well, it's a four by four, right? Yeah, it's and, made out of an Aosu. Yeah, it's made out of an Aosu, and like uh, Master Morphics, you use beginner method, and then you get to the last layer, and you just try stuff until it works. Mm -hmm. But of course, because it's a four by four, then there's the either it's a I don't know which. I'm sure somebody will add in the comments whether this is <laughs> actually a parody situation or a false equivalent situation. It's very important that we get this right, and I know that everybody will comment. Sure, and we'll probably get an even mix as to whether it says parody or I don't actually false know which equivalence. one is which. Well, it whatever. I can't solve this yet, right. and I hate myself and want to die. Mm -hmm. I am bad and I feel bad. Uh, that reminds me of me trying to solve the Master Kilomates the first time. It was yeah. not fun. Well, 
I liked the Master for Killamakes from from the beginning. It was not never the, really a problem for me. Not the first time for me. The first well, time for okay. me, I was so frustrated. I about struggled stuff. with the parody. Don't you, don't you remember? No, I yeah, remember you don't whining you remember about me parody. Whining about it well, because you didn't just want to solve the parody. You wanted to solve the parody in your way. You wanted to basically have it just solve the parody, but not blow up any more of the cube. But you have to blow up part of the cube. The best part is it's not even a cube, but we call it well, a cube. Well, the this, puzzle. This is not a cube, but I call Direct this a cube. Direct your comments at him. Yeah. Yeah. Which, of course, you have to because it's his channel. So uh, I'm going to move on to another question. All right. Okay. So are you ready for the question? No, but you're going to ask anyway. I'm going to ask the question. Yeah. Okay. Dave. Greg. Stickerless or black? Uh, I think that. <laughs> I think if we look at this particular stack of cubes that I've got in front of me, uh, the vast majority of them are stickerless. However, 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 you'll notice that this is actually my main. This is what I, even though I did get the GAN UM and I carry the GAN UM everywhere and I, I like the GAN UM, I just, this is, this is a GTSM. This is the cubicle made this uh, half bright, full fitted, and I just, I just love it. And it's stickered. Uh, and I don't really have a problem with that. Um, this is stickered as well, but just because I haven't been able to find a, a stickerless megamorphix. But you, until I actually solve this, do I want another one? Right. No. Is um, it, are they not made? Or I don't know. I didn't. Okay. I, that's the only one I even know exists. Yeah. And I'm sure somebody will correct us in the comments. Please correct us in the comments. There's probably some custom one that people make somewhere. Always correct us in the comments. Oh, and also the uh, master morphics. It is a three by three shape mod. I just wanted to let you know that because I'm worried about that. It was I'm actually worried. kind of fun listening and watching you make an idiot out of I'm, yourself about I'm that. I'm worried that somebody is going to think that it's not a three by three shape mod because I said that in that video that one time. Yeah, I think you said it was actually, it a pyramid shape mod or something. I didn't say it was. Did you say it was, it was. a pyramid I, shape mod? I, I wrote it. Or did all you say over, something so. even worse? I think I th thought it was a pyramid. And actually, yeah, Addie ended up adding all of those things because I told her to. It's not her fault. She's smart. I'm stupid. It's okay. It's why she's doing all the pretty much. It's why she's doing all the hard stuff, and truth. I'm doing all it's, the it's easy the truth. stuff. It's absolutely the truth. Uh, yeah. So but, you would think. Oh, well, well no, did no, you no, have no. more? I do have more. Well, I'm going to go ahead and jump in. Well, I, because no, I do no, because I'm going to talk over you and say I like stickerless oh, yeah, you're bigger say cubes. Why. Yeah. Um, and and that's just because well, it, to sort of cross over into another. Um, one of your questions, I'm a professional software developer. I've been a professional software developer from the very beginning. Um, In the so womb. I top, so I top, I type a lot. Yeah. And, um, and I have the classic, well, if you type for 30 years, you're going to get repetitive stress injuries, right? You're going to, my hands aren't right. And that is unfortunate, but it's just the case. And, um, what I found was that, well, hand me one of yours. How about the cubic alpha? There, well, which is the, this is the candidate for, this is the, actually the perfect example because this is the first cube I noticed it on. When I would hold it, um, it would cause irritation. Just the thickness of the stickers on here, just that little edge right there would cause irritation inside uh, the pinky here where... I already have some nerve damage. Mm -hmm. um, I have what they call cubital tunnel syndrome. Look it up. Uh, don't tell me how to fix it. Just talk amongst yourselves. Anyway, so there's a <laughs> there's a, a, a little bit of nerve damage in there. You and should definitely tell him how to fix it in the comments. In his comments. Yeah. Um, it would irritate me. Yeah. I, I just noticed that after three or four solves on, a, on the Alfu, I hated it. I love turning it, but I just it hurt and it annoyed me. Um, and then I got a stickerless, I think it was, uh, the, I forget my first stickerless cube. I think it was, this is the Wu Shuang, um, the Chi Wu Shuang. You loved that Wu I love the Wu Shuang. Um, and uh, it, I just noticed that it felt good. Mm -hmm. it, I, it, it was hard for me to really perceive how well a cube turned because the stickers pissed me off. I didn't like. I was just, I'm I'm you know black guy. Like I like the black cubes. I like the way they look. Uh, on a three by three, I recognize way better on this thing than I do on the stickerless ones I have. But you'll notice 
if you look at my pile of cubes here, which you can't see, so I'm going to just pull them all on here because we might as well. You, you, let me sort them into black and stickerless. Okay, so over here we have my black cubes, except that's not a cube as we previously discussed. And then we have this big pile of stickerless cubes, okay? It's a dodecahedron. It is a dodecahedron. Yeah. Right. It's not a cube. I know. We talked about this. Yeah. Okay, so... Yeah. Uh, you should probably refer to it as a puzzle. I'm going to refer to it as a puzzle. Okay. This is a puzzle. All of these are puzzles. I wasn't puzzle. sold on the uh, stickerless cubes at all until I got, uh, which one is it? You kind of whined about it. So, well, I just, you know, I don't know. He I have whines. trouble recognizing, but I picked up this Yushin 7x7 because this is the only one they make. They don't make one with stickers. They make this one. He's got one too. Uh, yeah, we got a funny story here about why I have three of them. He seems to have a collection. Yeah, not not really on purpose. Well, kind of on purpose. Anyway, uh, I was I started solving on this, and this is a very smooth puzzle, by the way. I mean, it's nice. The Yushin 7x7 seven seven is the, awesome. The What I liked about it was it doesn't hurt my hands, and when I would pick this Afu back up, the stickers are bumpy, and I don't like the way they feel anymore. Yeah, and suddenly it's not, you notice the roughness. It's not... It doesn't irritate my skin or anything, but what it does do is it just irritates me, like annoys me. And I get to where I was doing this on the plane a couple of trips ago, just solving it and solving it. And the thing started feeling really weird in my hands, like it was like uh, the outer layers were bigger than the rest of the kit. It just it messed me up. And I'm like, I can't solve on this anymore. Yeah. I did get the uh, Chi, what is it, the Wuji? I think yeah, it's yeah. Luigi. Yeah. Um, the stickers on this are not as thick as the stickers on that, and so I'm back to liking stickered seven by seven. But frankly, if you give me a choice, my oh yeah, that's the stickerless Luigi. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. Oh, that's nice. That's so nice. Can you hear me whispering into the mic how nice this is? Yeah. He likes the I way I say, set up a cube. I want to say hello there, cube. Anyway, uh, I like I'm the idea. I'm sold is. on the bigger stickerless ones. Um, so totally sold. I also bought a stickerless, um, what is this? Uh, which way? Which way? Yeah. Um, I have a black one of these and I like solving on it, except it's a little wonky and I think it's the first version and oh, yeah. this is the second version and it works better. I don't think you've tried the Yushin 5x5 five, five, five by five in a stickerless. In stickerless? No. Let's see how we like that. Oh, 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 that's nice. It's really loose. This is a family, family, uh, video. Yeah. That's nice. I might have to pick one of those up. I have a, a black one of these. Yeah. I have, I have a lot of black cubes. I'm, they're not out right now. Anyway, uh, back to like the stickerless thing. So you like the stickerless big cubes. I do. Um, but you don't mind the smaller cubes. Like hey, well, a, a they, four by four. That's with, wide enough. That yeah, it doesn't the, dig into the corners. It's it, the small stickers, yeah. I think. that They just really bug it's me. Absolutely the small stickers. Interestingly, the Shangsha big puzzles. The stickers on those don't bother me. Well, those were mostly full fitted, weren't they? Uh, and they're flat. They're really thin. Yeah. And uh, the ones I replaced them with are pretty thin too. So yeah. they don't bother Much me. Much better color too. Yeah. I mean, it might be that those cubes just aren't super good. Anyway, I mean, the Shingsha so... colors are sad. It's like yeah, it's, they're totally it's, depressing. It's like autumn evening. Well, I like autumn, so that's not but really a good way to say the it. The orange isn't orange. It's brown. It looks brown to me. Yeah. So I just can't deal. Yeah. All right. So it's an earth tone cube. Um. So you said you're you you're a software developer. I'm a software developer. I too am a software developer, as we established in the giveaway video. So that's uh, there you go. That's yeah, but our... we didn't establish that I was a software developer in the no. giveaway video. No, we did not establish that you were. A I software had no developer. presence in the in the in the giveaway video. You did not. I didn't even win the cube. You didn't enter. I didn't think I had to. You weren't eligible anyway. Yeah. Are you, so if you had selected me, you would not you have. You wouldn't given have it to even me. been in the list. Friends and family not eligible. You know who your friends are. However, if you want to, I actually keep meaning to ask for your address. So if you give me your address down in the comments section, I've actually shipped video, stuff to you. I know, but I, I am have... not putting my com my address I'm in kidding. the comments of the video. Actually, though, I do want your address because I do want to send you a special cube. I'm not telling you what it is, but I'm going to send. I'm you a here special now. Cube. You could actually like hand it to me. I can't because I don't have it yet. Okay. So, so I'm you actually don't even going to ship if... it new in box. New in NIB. Okay. Exactly. All right. So, uh, yeah, great. Software developers. So software we're developer. software developers. Um, who goes first? I want to know. Well, I'm going to ask you, and then I'm going to respond. 
Okay, so here's the next question. Are you ready All for right. the next question? The next right. question is, I just want to wait What's for the What's the next question? So here I'm back now. You can't hear me over here. I understand the question hear is here. coming. <laughs> We're just goofing off now. This is crazy. What, the, so the uh, rest so of it, we weren't goofing off. The rest question. of it was like dead, How's dead the fire serious. Doing? We should stoke that fire. It's fine. So... <laughs> Oh, Addie's going to go stoke the fire for us. This will be great. While she's doing that, I'm going to ask you the question. So, you like cubing. I do. You're a giant nerd. Uh, well. You're a giant nerd. Okay. Just embrace it. Nerd or geek? Both. Okay. I'm a nerd. I'm a geek. I'm occasionally a dork. Somebody will actually provide the definitions of all three of those terms. Down in the comments in section the comments. below. Um, oh, you'll good. Be we've, wrong. Got the we've got a good fire going again. Does it like zoom in? It just changes. This is the holiday fire. I don't even know okay. why it's still on Netflix. But all right, I, we're well, like, we got oh, so this is Netflix. This is okay. basically a fire. We're having a fireside. So chat. we're rebroadcasting Netflix. We are rebroadcasting. <laughs> we're rebroadcasting re Netflix. It doesn't matter. It'll be fine. Well, it, it'll matter to you, but it won't matter to me. It won't matter to. It's not going to matter. This will be to a anybody. good story. Please do not turn me in. Right. Okay. So a question. Uh, big nerd. Big nerd. I also am a big nerd. Addie, who's not on camera. Is witnessing a big nerd. Is also a big nerd. Are you a big nerd? All right. Yeah. She's a big nerd. Uh, so, And we mean that in love. Okay. Top three non-cubing nerdly pursuits. Oh, God. Oh, that's right. That's right. Um, well, uh, th one thing that we share is we've both recently gotten back into electronics. Oh, indeed we have. Farting around with electronics. Indeed. And, and I love the thing me is, some electronics. When I was a kid farting around with electronics, you were sort of at the mercy of what your parents could provide. Oh, yeah. Right? I mean, you could buy some stuff yourself, but we're really old. And Pretty there old. wasn't like a Jameco or a, a, a nope. DigiKey that you could <laughs> like, or an Adafruit or anything like that, where you could order stuff and just have amazing things show up in your in your in your mailbox radio shack and allied electronics well, I, that's not true though um i actually developed a little bit of an unhealthy obsession with ups because ups delivered all of my heath kits oh yeah heath kits you remember heath kit i heath could never kit afford was heath awesome kit. i never could afford heath kit my folks were like nope we can't afford that well i think by the time that you were at the stage they were i don't know they were still I think they'd just they gotten into, relevant. well, they were still relevant, but I think when I started getting into it, they were just starting to ship like the H8 and the H11, yeah, the computers. Yeah. Um, but I definitely, I miss the heyday. But I guess the, the point I'm getting to is that we both got back into electronics after we had disposable income. Yep. Because That's as the key previously phrase. mentioned, software developers. Right, right. <laughs> and um, I, we have jobs and they pay us and they support our habits and they allow us to, I don't know. Um, like Greg was telling me I had to, had to show you this. I am. Well, first off, if you are an electronics nerd at all, um, you worship fluke. You will know what this is. The fluke 87, five. It's the multimeter. Uh, you will argue with me about it. That will be in the comments, but since I'm on the video and it's your show, I get to say, this is the platonic form of digital multimeters. Mm -hmm. This is the one. I agree. You want this one. Um, I had, uh, I followed a search on eBay for months until I found the one that was like new in box, but for half price. And I, that's what I did. Nice. Uh, I also have. I don't I, have one of those yet. Yeah. I have a red, red craftsman that I got as a gift. Craftsman. Now, it works. The name of quality. It works. I haven't blown it up. If I get it's a fluke, it's not a fluke. If I get a fluke, the first thing that's going to happen is if I'm going to blow it up. It's a fluke. That's what I keep. Hearing. Well, no. The nice thing about the fluke, though, is that it's all like fused. You sure. Know, there, you you blow a fuse, that, you fix the did, fuse. Did you ever blow up a multimeter when you were a kid? Oh God, yes. Did you plug it in the wall? Oh no, you. Yeah, well, you I do put stuff it on like milliamps and yeah, plug exactly. It in the wall you put it on amp. You, you put it on amps and you plug it into something and then. <laughs> Yeah, in that the like magic smoke delicate, out. wonderful little meter that uh -huh, those little <laughs> moving needles, and yeah. it's like dead. It doesn't work for anything anymore. Yeah. I actually uh, put a big. Uh, I had one plug in my house with a big black smudge on it because yeah. I, because I was as a kid, I was trying to measure the the house current and you yeah. know shorted it. Right, you know, it's a big poof. There's it welded a big hole in the side of my my meter probe. Oh yeah, yeah, and good stuff. Yeah, it was it was fun. <laughs> 
the things that we do to live through. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's one of the things. Electronics. Um, well, I'm a software developer, so I also like you know I program stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and and pretty much electronics now is programming <laughs> because eventually you hook everything to a microcontroller, and it's which true. means you're writing code again. It's true. I uh, <laughs> I have a Raspberry Pi somewhere in this house. Can't find it. I will. It's gone. I I hesitate to admit just how many Raspberry Pis I own. I'm gonna have to get another one because I can't find. The I, one have, I have. I have probably about eight or nine of I've them. I've booted it up like four times, and then it disappeared. It's in the house. I know it's in the house somewhere. So, yeah. I yeah. And the new the new uh, Pi Zero W is pretty cool. Oh, very nice. You know about that one? I do not. Oh, they. Uh, I well, kept e every up. year. Every year on the anniversary of the introduction of the Raspberry Pi, they introduce a new model. Last oh, year nice. was the three, of course. Um, but the Raspberry Pi Zero was the five dollar one, and they went ahead and added wireless to it. Nice. So it's yeah, they basically took the same wireless chip that they'd put on the Pi Three and mounted it on the Pi Zero. Uh, they couldn't charge five bucks for it anymore, but they charged ten bucks for it, huh? which is not that big uh, of a deal. Uh, I mean, that's like three of these well it's not three of this one because this is if you can't tell this has been restickered um <laughs> this was uh well back in the 80s rubix shipped the calendar cube the idea is you sure. solve it into the date and um they don't make them anymore but other people i think this was oliver stickers oliver stickers your sticker place um they had done a printout of these and i ordered them and i bought a cheap this is a Guanlong. Oh, okay. Which yeah. I actually wish I hadn't chosen because How's it the, uh, can I try it? Yeah, because the the oh, QBs, that's not bad. Yeah, the QBs aren't. Okay. Actually, I think I want it to it's be pretty stiffer. square though. Right? I actually want it. To, well, it's not as square as I'd like it to be. You know, these corners don't work out as well, and it's hand stickered, and I suck at hand stickering, so they're all a little bit jiggy. You know, yeah. but um, I think this would work better in a non-speed cube. You know, this would be more appropriate yeah, yeah. with a uh, like just a real Rubik's maybe, yeah. but. Like a real Rubik's from like you know 2010 or something. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Before they went to the tiles. Yeah, yeah. Not and not a, not an old one because those things are worth a mint now. Like well, and, well, unless you can get one like that. Yeah. Well, no, no. This well, is, this is worth a mint, but only to me. Right. Well, right. Right. Because this reminds yeah. me of the of the dog that chewed it, which it's easy to buy another cube. Can't get another dog. Yeah. You should know that. So, um, uh, let's see. What's my Geez, what do I want to mention? I do so many things. You run. We talked, yeah. We talked about we talked about the running or electronics. We talked about, and I've talked a little bit about running on this channel before. But yeah, running is a thing I picked up uh, a little over a year ago. Yeah. And I was never an athlete when I was a kid, and I discovered that I really, really liked running a, about a year and a half ago. Something, something like that. And now I do races and stuff, so you'll see me probably doing goofy things that involve running and maybe involve running and cubing or other things like that. Uh, and I don't know, my other, yeah, the other thing I probably do the most uh, outside of cubing and running is probably music? programming. Well, programming, and, music, and run fair. Wow. Right after that is probably the music stuff. Yeah. So I'm a, definitely an early music nerd. Um, I just uh, acquired some violas de gamba, and uh, we'll find out more. I will have videos showing those and, and stuff on here. So I want to I want to share that stuff with everybody too. So I warned you ahead of time that this is not just a cubing channel. So it'll be all all of my nerdly pursuits are going to make it on here somehow. Um, you're now, losing audience. Just I like, see you have. I, I feel your subscriptions just went down. I think we just lost three subscribers. Yeah. 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 So you have another. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I also have. I this hesitate fascination. to call it a toy because it's not a toy. Well, it's a precision yeah, but instrument, it, right? it is and it isn't. It's a. Uh, I have this fascination. Well, same reason I bought the fluke. Uh, uh -huh. I have this fascination with precision measuring things that I have no need for. Um, this is um, this is a, a set of digital calipers made by uh, Mitutoyo. Which is, uh, I'm not going to say it's the fluke of calipers because I don't know who is, but it's right. one of the best ones. Um, and what it's good for is, at least, let's see, let's measure a cube. So <laughs> 61.85 millimeters for the, the whoosh wang. Okay. So if they tell you like 62, they're a little off. Wait, what do you want to be measuring? Tell me the difference between those two. Okay. It's the same okay, cube, right? Okay. This is like, this is killer video 
right? <laughs> this is what everybody's waiting hey, we're for. Measuring cubes, right? This is sixty-nine good stuff. point uh, sixty-nine point two six. I can actually, I can actually zero it there, and then we can see the difference. Oh wow! And this is point two two millimeters smaller. Very nice. See, we knew the stickers had thickness because, of course, they do. Yeah. But 0.1 millimeter thick. We suspected because this is going to be out of the same mold as this one. Yeah. And then they add stickers. And to then this, they put stickers so it's on. It's going to make it thicker. Yeah. <laughs> cool. And 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 that was worth that was worth the purchase of this caliper. That one mo move the that measurement that we yeah. just made. Yes. Yeah. That's it. That's all you needed. I have I no gotta reason get one to now. have these. I have no I have reason to, get to have one these. Now. We've uh, just demonstrated. I, I don't the need. need the fluke. I don't need the Metatelliers. <laughs> no doubt. I actually don't need all these cubes. Neither well, do you, but nobody. All right. I hate to cut in, but I'm going to have to cut in because we're going to run out of time. And I want to do one more thing on this video before we sign off. Do we sign off? Do you sign off? I'm wasting time. Let's not waste time. So we're going to do a quick unboxing because I have two cubes in envelopes that Dave already has, and I haven't opened them yet. And I got to open them on camera. Are, are they cubes that I actually have here? You don't have them here. Okay. You didn't bring your uh, UM or nor don't, your, don't, nor your don't bulk, give right? it away. Oh, no, it's fine. So so now you know what he's unboxing. Well, sure. So but where I is the, seen it. Where is the where is the suspense? Um, it's going to be in the title. Yeah, but people... it's going to be in the title. They're going to know. You already know what's in here because you read the title. Didn't so, you? So don't even open them. Just we're I'm done. just gonna, we're done. No, I'm no, opening them. No, I'm taking this one. I gotta do first turns, but we gotta hurry because we're gonna run out. As we said, thirty minutes. Well, I've already turned it first. No, first turns on my cube, and you're not turning it first. Oh, that's just that would be gross. Oh, bump the mic. Sorry. Don't bump the mic. Addy gets mad. Oh, wait, you know it, it, it's funny because mine just popped open like that too. It's like that's awesome. <laughs> I remember when I got the original GAN, uh, the 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 air. Uh, it took me a while to pop that thing open okay. because you just didn't want to break it. So this is a officially a GAN Air UM. It's a GAN Air UM. It's got no the purple 356. It's, it's just, got the purple screws. No, it's a GAN 356 Air UM. So it's a GAN 356 ultimate Air magnetic. UM. Ultimate magnetic. Ultimate so, magnetic. Okay. Well, what's it? What's it? Well, how's it turn? Oh, that's pretty good. Okay, let's move on to that. I'm kidding. Well, uh, uh oh. You're right. Those magnets are not as, uh, yeah, they're not quite as strong. Once you break it in, you notice them. Oh, you see what I mean? That's nice. It's nice. That's very nice. And that's with the purple screws. That's with the purple. Purple, so, purple nuts, because nuts um, makes it sound so much better. Cool. Okay, I'll look forward to breaking that in. A cube Let's with do purple the next nuts. One. I'm just going to keep saying purple nuts. Yeah. What are you? Twelve? Actually, thirteen. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and, and and the interesting thing about the ultimate ones is they actually they took all the metal out. Those are all they they pull the metal screws out of the corners and they're all the stocks are glued on and they evidently they do that by hand. Neat. This is my Volk M. I've been waiting for this for a while. Stickerless Volk 3M. Yep. Stickerless Volk 3 by the cubicle. By the cubicle. All right. That's not going to work. Here we go. Quickly Get in there. This is the worst. I've unboxing. always struggled with that stuff. There we go. All right. How is it? Very nice. Yep. That's about what I was hoping for. Nice. This needs to be broken in. It's a little gummy. Let me see. Tell me what you think. I think it's a... Is it like out of the box? Oh, uh, it's actually... You'll notice I got stickerless. Are we done? No. Do we have time for a it's sign off good. and a thank you? We have one minute. All right. Pretty good. Well, folks, thanks for watching. We're a little out of time. Dave and I will be back, probably. Well, if the ratings are bad. If the, rating, no, if the ratings me. are bad, we're totally coming back. <laughs> uh, I hope you enjoyed this as much as we did. We had a lot of fun uh, doing this. And, uh, we'll I didn't together enjoy again. this. Yeah, you enjoyed it. Uh, I didn't enjoy this. If you liked it. Don't forget to uh, comment also and subscribe. And if you didn't like it, well, don't do anything. And uh, we will see you at the next video. We know you have plenty of choices of cubing, of cubing videos to watch. We thank you for watching ours. 
Cheers. That sucked. No, it didn't. It was fun. That stays in. Of course it does. <laughs> I, I, I...